All right, um, welcome back. Um, this video, uh, I'm gonna show you how to set up full disk encryption for your new OpenBSD install. Uh, this is totally optional, um, but if you're worried that someone might like uh, break into your house and like steal your hard drive out of your computer or if you're like, you know, if you've got a laptop that you're carrying around, you've got sensitive information on there and you want to make sure that if your laptop gets stolen, people can't take the sensitive information off. Um, you might be interested in having this full disk encryption process. So after you've like put your USB drive in the computer, uh, changed your BIOS settings to have it boot to that USB drive, and booted it, you'll come to this prompt, which is just where we left off in the last video. And uh, <clears throat> you're gonna wanna hit S for shell, enter, and then type uh, CD uh, dev, and then uh, we're gonna do shell make dev. Um, and so, you're gonna need to know um, what your like disk is. Um, I know that I have a uh, IDE hard drive on here. Um, and so that's gonna be WD0. Um, that's because this is an older laptop. It's got an older hard drive. Most of the time it's gonna be SD0. Um, <clears throat> And if you're not sure, um, something that you can do is exit. Um, well, actually, um, let's go back to the shell and let's do a uh, D message. Uh, and let's see if uh, grep is available. Um, Yeah, so you can see I've got uh, WD0 is one of the drives, and that's this uh, Fujitsu um, with like a bunch of sectors. That's probably your main drive if it's got a bunch of sectors. Um, we can do the same thing with SD, and you'll see that I've got SD, it's a SanDisk. Sorry, my dog is in the background, just rolling around on her back, making a bunch of noise, like a big cutie. Um, <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> so anyway, yeah, you can see this is the uh, SanDisk Cruiser Glide removable. So that's not gonna be the one that we want. So um, yeah, what we'll do is uh, make, well, uh, shell uh, make dev, Oh yeah, first we've got a CD slash dev, and then we'll do shell uh, make dev uh, WD zero. And uh, <clears throat> uh, after we've done that, um, so this process is, um, technically optional, um, but I highly recommend it. Uh, dev slash u random. So do uh, ddif uh, equals slash dev slash u random, and then of uh, equals slash dev uh, slash wd zero. Um, or sorry, r wd zero c. Yeah and then BS uh, equals one M, lowercase m. Um, <clears throat> this is gonna take, this step is op technically optional. Um, and the reason why I say it's technically optional is because it will take a very long time to do this. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, like I've done this with like a 64 gig like flash drive I've done this with like a 16 gig flash drive and I can't remember which one, but I think like the USB drive that I did it to was the 16 gig one. And I think it took like 45 minutes maybe. Um, 
maybe an hour and a half. Uh, I think the 64 gig one took like, uh, at, like maybe three hours. I'm not totally sure. Um, <clears throat> I'm not gonna do like let this run the entire time, but if you wanna do this, just enter that command. It'll take a long time. Um, and then like come back uh, after a while and uh, check on it. Like, you know, it'll just, it might take you kind of the whole day, but you only have to do that once. So like, you know, if you're really concerned about encryption, um, I would, or security, uh, I would do that. Just let it run. Um, <clears throat> the reason that we do this, uh, why, you know, what this does essentially is um, while if you don't do this, everything that gets written to the disk will be encrypted uh, still. Uh, but if you don't do this step, um, somebody who gets access to your disk um, <clears throat> will be able to tell how much of the disk you're using and like which sort of sectors have been encrypted. Um, which might be like that might give them enough information in certain scenarios uh, for them to figure something out. So uh, yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't skip this step if you're interested in security, but I'm not gonna let it run for the entire time. We'll hit control C um, to end that. And you can see, so it's done uh, almost 3,000 records. Uh, so a record in this case is one megabyte. So that's almost three gigabytes and it took about a little over two minutes, right? Uh, so <clears throat> this is like almost a 300 gig hard drive. So you could ex extrapolate that out. If it takes approximately two minutes to do approximately three gigs, it's probably gonna take approximately 200 minutes to do 300 gigs. Uh, so that would be like a little over three hours. Um, so not gonna do, do that on this video. Uh, we'll just skip to the next step, which uh, is to do F, oh, I hit caps lock accidentally. F disk, uh, and I can't spell, F disk dash, I, Y, um, and then W, D, zero. So that's just gonna write um, your standard MBR uh, to the disk. Um, and then we're gonna do disk label dash E, capital E, um, and then W, D, zero. Obviously use S, D, zero if you've got an S, D drive. Um, that's what that whole, you know, D message, pipe, F grep, WD and SD uh, situation was. Most of you will probably have SD zero. Um, so then we're just going to do A space A. That's going to add an A partition. You can just hit enter for the standard offset and then hit star to use the entire disk. And then instead of using the 4.2 BSD type file system, we're going to type RAID here. And then we're going to write, and then we're going to quit. And it says no label changes because we wrote them before we quit. Um, and now we'll just uh, create the encrypted drive. So we'll do bio CTL uh, dash C capital C to make it an encrypted RAID drive. Um, the place that we're going to do that on is WD0A. Uh, obviously replace that with SD0A if you had an SD drive uh, as your main disk. And then soft RAID 0. Um, it's always soft RAID 0 at the end. Um, and it's going to ask you for your passphrase. Um, you know, this is what protects your drive. Um, and makes it, um, you know, you need this password essentially every time you boot up um, to access the drive. So if you don't have, 
So if somebody comes in and steals your drive out of your computer and tries to like access the data on it, they won't be able to without this passphrase. Um, I'm just gonna type noob. Um, obviously you want something stronger than that. Uh, I recommend like at least 12 characters um, with a mix of like letters, both capital and uh, lowercase and uppercase, uh, numbers, uh, preferably something like other than just zero and one, because a lot of people will just use zero or one. Um, and then some kind of special character, um, something other than exclamation point, uh, is usually a good idea too. Cause a lot of people just use exclamation point. Um, and once we've done that, um, let's make sure that we're still in dev and then we'll do shell uh, make dev SD one. Um, and then, uh, we'll just do a quick DD input file slash dev slash, uh, zero and output file, um, equal to slash dev slash R S D one C. So whatever popped up here, right? Um, whether it's SD one or SD two or whatever, um, you're going to do R SD that version and then the letter C, um, and then BS, uh, one lowercase M and count equal to one. And that'll only take a second. And then you're done. We've uh, done our, uh, set up our disk to be uh, encrypted. So now you can exit and it'll take you back to the main uh, installer prompt. And uh, you can skip to the video on the actual, you can go, go to the actual install video after this. Uh, so uh, that's it for this one. Uh, leave a like. If you uh, liked this video and want to see more, um, leave a dislike if you didn't like this video. And uh, if you have any uh, questions, uh, concerns, criticisms, uh, leave a comment uh, to let me know about that. And if you want to get uh, notified when I make new videos, hit subscribe. Uh, but that's it for this one. Thanks. Peace.